The workforce landscape for older workers is changing. And if you're still going to Indeed, I highly encourage that you change that. The first job board that I like for older workers is called retirementjob.com. And here's why I like it. The first reason why I like it is because it's free. It has over a million members in it. There's a mix of people from every level, from um, leadership, executive level, all the way to staff level. There is a multitude of jobs on there. So there's hourly and there's salary positions on there as well. They've also been certified as an age-friendly employer. There is an initiative that was put out for employers that are committed and willing to take on um, workers that are over the age of 50. It's called CAFE, and this is Certified Age-Friendly Employer, C-A-F-E. And so that's another reason why I like it, because they're committed to saying, you know what, you have a, a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of experience, we are taking this pledge or we are certified to um, take on those that are over the age of 50. So no discrimination. You don't have to worry about any type of age discrimination or any type of bias. You know that this employer or these employers have taken or received, I should say, this certification. The other reason why I like this platform is because the members rate the employer. So you get you get to see everything from interviews. You get to see, you know, this is a great place to work. You get to see how the interview process works. Works. Um, you get to see your ratings by your peers about the about the organization, about the employers that's hiring. So there's a good mix of reviews and a good way for you to decide if it's an employer that you want to pursue. Now, the second job board that I like is called retiredbrains.com. They have a multitude of resources on there. If you are over the age of 50, if you're an older worker, if you're retired and you want to um, come from out of retirement, um, either case, everything from working from home to supplementing your income to becoming a freelancer. And as it relates to supplementing your income, this is for part-time work, for seasonal work, for temporary work. So again, if you're, let's say you're retired and you want to, you know, supplement your income or you, you want to come out of retirement, they have those type of positions on this platform as well. And the other cool thing about this, um, this, this job board is it helps you with starting a business. So let's say that you wanted to um, start your own business. You want to know where to start or how to leverage your skills. Um, they help you with uh, giving you some ideas, some guidance, some advice as well on starting your, um, your own business, uh, either coming out of retirement or if you're currently working and it's something you want to do on the side, it's a good resource for that as well. Now, if you've been thinking about transitioning um, and it's something you want to take a deeper dive into, you want to create a roadmap and goals for yourself to get you to uh, career transitioning, or if you're um, fearful of age discrimination or you feel as though you have been discriminated against, you might want to have someone take a look at your documents. That's something that we do. If you want to go to attractopportunities.com, I'm going to drop that link below. And you can also leave me a comment below and let me know if you have faced any type of age discrimination or you feel as though you have, it may be a good idea for us to sit down, have a conversation and see if there's there's some areas that we could tweak or or and I should say create a roadmap to get you to that next transition, the second act, as they call it, um, in your career. Now, this next one is not necessarily a job board. It's actually a program and it's called CSEP. It's spelled a little weird and I'll put it below, um, but it's called CSEP. And actually, every state has a CSEP program. And inside of this, this program, you can filter once you, once you, you can look it up, right? Google it for your state, right? And then once you get on there, it gives you resources. You can Google it for a uh, part-time work, full-time work for the type of work you like to do for the skill set that you have for your job title, for the, the, um, what I want to say, domain or vertical or industry that you want to work in. Uh, it's a program to help you. Now, this these this program, I should say, um, again, it's in every state and it's designed to help those that are retired or want to come out of retirement and kind of match you up with an employer that's looking for someone that has experience, that's seasoned in their area of expertise. And so for those that are kind of 
you know, not sure which way to go. It is a program designed to that. Now, I will say the 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 maneuvering through the site because it is a government um agency or government program can be a little tedious, but if you go on there for your specific area, find a number or somewhere and call them and let them walk you through what the program is 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 about and what it's like and see if there's some resources on there because you're looking for resources to help you to get into that next role, whether it's, again, part-time, seasonal, temporary, whatever the case may be. Everyone is at a different stage in their career. So Leverage it for whatever is best for you and what would make the most sense for you. And also, they also have training um, available as well. They have community service type roles. They have private sector roles um, and part time positions also. So, again, just check it out and let me know, you know, in the comments if you're having any trouble finding it. But I'll put a link below that'll um, have you plug in, like I said, your state, and then it should take you directly to your local CSEP. Uh, program. Okay. So at this point in the video, you may be wondering, okay, Kelly, I got all the job boards. I didn't heard about the program. I know what to do there. So how do I get recruiters to actually call me? Well, I got you covered. I knew you were going to ask that. I got you covered. The next thing you should do is check out this video here. This is an uh, older video that I that I did, but the principles still ring true. And it kind of breaks down your resume and how to get recruiters to call, the things that they're looking for, the things that you may have on there that you may need to throw away and things that you may uh, need to add. So check out that video there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.